hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today i've got this beautiful atta rice recipe atta rice is basically atta nidin recipe specially made for rice or spaghetti this is an amazing recipe you do not want to miss out on so let's begin so for this recipe i will be using some goat meat beef and tripe i've also got some cow foot which i have pre-cooked and will be introducing later on to season i will be using some blended onions minced garlic and ginger, stock cubes, curry powder, salt, and some fresh thyme. I won't be adding water at this time, and I'm just going to mix this thoroughly and then leave to simmer for 20 minutes. and after 20 minutes i will be checking back on the meat and as you can see they have sweat out their own natural moisture and at this time i will be adding just about enough water to cook the meat please do not add too much water so you can end up with concentrated broth and after that i will be mixing thoroughly and then leave to cook until soft And once the meats are thoroughly cooked, I will be grilling them. You can also fry if you want to, but for some reason I haven't been frying my meat a lot lately. I just prefer to use my air fryer. And this is what it looks like. I have added the cow foot as well onto it and I have also chopped them into bite sizes. So this I will be setting aside now for use later. And now we're on to the peppers and these are the peppers I will be using for this recipe. And as you can see, there are no tomatoes in sight. This is the star of the show. These are dehydrated peppers that I have rehydrated by soaking in hot water overnight. Please try as much as possible to find these peppers. You can also use the smaller ones as well. You can find them in Asian stores or African stores. To be honest, you can use any kind of dry pepper because they they give you that that are going to you kind of flavor it is absolutely amazing so please try as much as possible to find them and also i've got some scotch bonnet peppers and i've also got some tatashi that's some um, bell peppers i've got some chilies shombo i've got an onion actually i used two onions in all i don't know why i thought that one would be enough but i did add another one and you will see that later And now it's time to blend the peppers and I will be chopping them up and throwing them in my food processor and I will be blending them very roughly. You can choose to do a full blend if you prefer that. I know some people don't like bits, you know, bits and bobs in their stews, but that's fine. You can, you know, you can blend fully, but like I said, I will be blending mine roughly. So so in case you're wondering if you should add tomatoes or not yes you can add tomatoes if you want but i don't like to use tomatoes for our tandy recipes at all because i just find it a bit too watery and i also don't like the taste i don't know it just tastes a bit too sweet but i prefer to not use so it's up to you if you want to add or not once all the peppers and onions have been chopped i will be pulsing this a couple of times and after blending this is the sort of texture that i like for my atadidi now it's up to you if you want to make it a bit smoother but i prefer this sort of texture and now i'm going to transfer this into my sieve and i'm just going to get rid of as much water as i can and the reason for the step is just so the stew can fry a lot faster and it also gives it that perfect atadidi sort of texture And after sieving, I'm just going to set this aside for use later. So 
so for my fishes i will be using some bunga fillet that's um, shower please make sure you debone them because they're quite hazardous if you accidentally swallow them i've also got some smoked catfish as well that's um catfish fillet and you can also use some stock fish if you want or you can also use grilled mackerel anyone's fine and now we're on to the best part of the recipe and here I've got some bleached palm oil. I'm sorry I'm not able to show you how to do it and that's because I bleach in bulk. I think I did about 6 litres or something sometime last year and I've still got some left. And to this I will be adding some chopped onions and then I'm going to fry for about 2 minutes. So I should mention at this point that you don't have to use bleached palm oil for this recipe. You can use unbleached or you can use vegetable oil. The only reason why I prefer to use it is because I want it to have that ewa going sauce sort of sort of um, flavor to it. And at this time, I will be adding the blended pepper. As you can see, I've added some more onions, like I said earlier. And I'm going to stir this thoroughly. Now, I know that some people are getting ready to start typing too much onions. All these onions. Voila, you're going to sue me. What did onions do to you people? This is 2021. This was solicited towards onions has to, has to end. For this recipe, anyways, you need loads of onions because that's what's going to bring out all the sweetness. Anyways, let's season. We're using salt, bouillon cubes, what is this? Crayfish powder and the bonga filet. Oh, I'm getting angry. I'm getting angry. Jemima, calm down. Calm down. It's not that deep. Calm down. And at this time, I'm just going to stir to combine and then leave to fry for about 15 to 20 minutes. Please do not leave this unattended for too long, otherwise it will burn. Remember to stir every now and then. And after 20 minutes, as you can see, the oil has started to settle onto the top. The stew is beginning to fry, but it's not as dry as I want it to be. But at this time, I'm going to add my hard boiled eggs. So the reason for adding the eggs quite early is because I wanted to soak up as much stew as I can and that way it just gives it that buka eggs, you know, it just tastes a lot better anyways. But if you want, you can add it later because I've had someone accuse me of frying eggs for about 40 minutes. <laughs> Boy, it's my egg now, Abby. Anyways, this is what it looks like after 20 minutes. I'm quite satisfied with this now and now it's time to introduce the meats. So I'm going to start first with the catfish fillet and I'm just going to add as much um, onto that and then I'm going to add the grilled meats. And at this point I'm just going to stir this thoroughly and then leave to simmer for about 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, this is what it looks like. Absolutely delicious. The aroma from this thing is amazing. It tastes a bit like ayamashi and also still tastes a bit like ewagoi sauce as well. I don't know how to describe it, but it's the perfect buka style stew. It is amazing. If you do replicate this recipe, please let me know how you get on by leaving me a comment in the comment section. And please do not forget that I also have the ingredients list in the description box below and this is what it looks like with rice absolutely delicious please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please like and share with your friends and family and don't forget to leave me a feedback as well when you do try it i'd love to hear from you and i will see you in my next video bye